Welcome to a tutorial on how to work with episodes and series in Dramatify. Like with everything else in Dramatify, you can work with episodes on your computer, tablet or smartphone. Episodes work with all of Dramatify script formats for any kind of series. You can also mix script formats in a production, which makes it possible to use the episode functionality for a feature film or any other kind of single episode production. Then the feature is one episode and you use the other episodes for the behind the scenes documentary, trailers, promos and web video specials. You can also use the AV scripts to storyboard certain sequences in a feature film for creative clarity or insurance requirements. You either add episode functionality when you set up your production or you can add it afterwards. If you want to add it after you have set up your production, just go to production in the sidebar menu, click on the edit menu in the orange toolbar and then on edit production. To change the setting from single episode, just click on multiple episodes. If you want different teams handling different episodes, also add more teams below the episode setting. Don't forget to save your new settings. Now you will see that an episode menu has been added to the sidebar menu of your production. Note that only admins can see the episode menu and have access to the content there. However, all team members can read any episode scripts under the script menu. To start using episodes, you need to set up the different episodes. Click on episodes in the sidebar menu and then on the add icon to the right in the orange toolbar. Start filling out the required information. Note that if you are not doing a traditional series but rather using the episode feature for promos, trailers and other content, you do not fill out a short name that contains an episode name. Instead you can just write trailer 1 or similar. You need at least one team tied to the episode. If you only have one team in the general production settings that I showed you at the start of this tutorial, only that team will show up in the episode settings. If you add more teams in the general production settings, you can let different episodes be produced by different teams. It might be different teams in different locations, different teams for different kinds of content, like one or two teams shooting the feature film, a third team doing a behind the scenes documentary, and a fourth team handling promos and trailers. If you do a TV drama series, it's also common to be using blocks with different teams assigned to different blocks, and you can set up this here by using the team functionality. If you work with a production that will have a large number of episodes, like a daily talk show or a telenovela, filling out correct production periods become more important, as they are not only information to the team, but also helps you and your team members to easier view which are the current episodes without having to search or scroll through long lists of episodes. If you do a production with a limited number of episodes, they can match the general production periods if that is easier for you. The episode listing makes it easy for you to find your episode depending on production status. All current episodes are found directly on the page. Use the menu to find episodes in pre-production, production and post-production respectively. Note that if you can't find an episode, look under All. An episode before its pre-production period or past its post-production period will be found here. To add a script to your episode, click on the episode title and then on the link Create Script for Episode. Select the script type you want to use. You can also mix script types in the same production. The only rule is one script per episode. If you have a single episode production which already have a script and you want to add more episodes, please refer to our FAQ section for instruction on how to tie the existing script to the correct episode. To find out who is working on your episode, click on the episode in the episode listing and then on team. In the scene list you can filter on a specific episode to only view the scenes belonging to that particular episode. In the scheduling you have similar options of filtering. This means that you can either schedule each episode on their own or mix episodes based on set character and or time of day for instance. Call sheets accept the scenes you put in them and therefore you can mix scenes from different episodes and even different script types should you need that. Since each team has their own call sheet, different teams can work on different episodes on the same shooting date. That's all for now. Welcome to the next generation production management. And thank you for dramatifying your production.